So the Superboy costume is just going to be him in a pair of speedos and a string vest. <laughs> is that what you're hoping for? Yep. I want that costume. That's his alternative. Who's this prick? I just told you right now, it's Tempest B10. Tempest B10, oh yeah, I love that character. I'm Batman. We know that Batman. What, what are we supposed to be doing? I'm Batman. Are you brain damaged? Yes. <laughs> Bat damaged. The together. different pieces fit together. Wow, now the plot's all coming together. Who would have thought? Magic? Did someone say Zantana? No. Well, she better turn up soon. No. Yeah, you got to say her name backwards. Zantana? <laughs> I don't think that's right. Nando's? <laughs> no. Zan Nando's? When I do magic, I love Zanandos. <laughs> Make chickens appear out of everything. Is that like... Make chickens appear out of meat that isn't chicken. Pick a peri-peri sauce sachet. Any peri-peri sauce sachet. Was this your peri-peri sauce sachet? Look at the chicken, don't look around the chicken. <laughs> oh, the quotes. LexCorp is Jesse Eisenberg, and he's annoyed because the girl that he wanted to date at the fun fair didn't want to have sex with him because she wanted to have sex with Ryan Reynolds but the music's pretty good I completely lost count of how many films you just mashed up there you didn't mash up any that yeah that's the one, the one film I'm talking about there is that film what's that film where he's at oh there? right yeah because there's a fucking fun fair in Zombieland as well you got me all confused no yeah but in Zombieland he gets the girl I don't think he gets the girl he doesn't get um, well, in Emo Land I can't remember what happened in that fucking piece of shit yeah Bella that's what happened well, I remember um, does he go mental and shoot her in the face and burn down the fun park? No, he... No, because if he did, I'd have watched He finds that an emotional... He finds the holes in his soul and re and then he joins LexCool. <laughs> when does he start Facebook? Uh, about the same time that he kills Bill Murray. And then the zombies come. Spoilers. Oh, just hit stop. Santa... Uh, so this will be Bane. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm forced to... Right. Make him good. If I've got to be forced what? to play him, I mean, I don't even get to see what Superboy's costume was. Ten points. We got right. targeted water. I want to increase physical strength. Right. What uh, uh, two into the top one, and two into the middle, and two underneath, and one into that one, and then bottom down. Uh, increase his hand-to-hand -hand damage. And what else we got? Scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. Is this everything we've got? Yeah, it's some pretty shit. Uh, I don't know. Decreases cool time. That one, yeah. This one, yeah. Has she got anything? Have you got anything? No. Oh, we've got someone new. We've got the fish dude as well. What's his powers? It's just a war person. I will not be. I don't want to use him. She's still the best to have, just because. Uh, obviously, she can heal shit. Let's roll. Uh, In the jungle, dimity jungle, the babe sleeps tonight. Did someone say Jumanji? <laughs> Jumanji's awesome. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's happening with the remake or the new version of Jumanji. That would be nothing. Well, exactly. Well, if it's, as long as it's not a remake, it's just another version of that story which I'm not bothered by. I always liked the version I saw as a kid. The cartoon was alright as well. Yeah. I can't help but think that the hunter from Jumanji and the hunter from the Wild Thornberries. Well, it's the same person. The dad. Yeah. Somehow the dad from the Wild Thornberries gets trapped in Jumanji and goes mad. <laughs> he always was a bit And then he tries to molest Robin Williams. <laughs> but Robin Williams won't let him stick a banana in his You can't head molest like Robin Williams because you can't get through his thick downy hair. His Robert Downey hair. <laughs> That's right. What I'm trying to say is Robert Downey Jr. was hair that fell off Robin Williams and became intelligent. This reminds me a bit of a Wolverine game. Does it? Yeah, they look very alike. Except there's like a lot more kid. Uh, I think you ever played the Wolverine game. I've played lots of Wolverine games, but you're not, you're not stating which one you're talking about. The Wolverine game based on I the played, Wolverine movie. I played Wolverine's Revenge. No, I'm talking about the Wolverine movie. And I played X Men Two. But I'm talking about the Wolverine movie game. Origins. I don't think. It was quite. Was cool. that the one with Mark Hamill? No, it was the one where he actually, like, when he got injured, his, he took damage and then his body regenerated and stuff. Which is the one where Mark Hamill did the voice. Uh, I think that was... That's maybe terrible. So that Wolverine... Wasn't that X-Men's Revenge? Not Wolverine's Revenge or something? I don't think so, because I thought I'd played that one, but I didn't know I played the Mark Hamill. Oh, I don't know. There are many, many X-Men games, and some are awesome and some are terrible. Like X-Men Destinies. The worst game to come out this generation. I've played it, have you? No, but right. it's supposed to be one of the worst games to play. What a prejudging. Well, maybe we'll play it. Just because the guy who made it stole him. all the money to try and make. Um, yeah. Thing. A sequel to the game, the popular GameCube game about Cthulhu. It wasn't about Cthulhu. No, but it was. It was about Cthulhu without being sued by. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, it was about Cthulhu. Cthulhu. I can't remember what the name of that game was, eh? Sanity's Requiem. Yeah. Subtitle something. And now we'll never get a sequel because that guy thought he was being smart. <laughs> yeah, well, the Kickstarter for it completely failed. The Kickstarter completely failed for it because the guy who turned up to be a paedophile, didn't he? No! I thought you told me. One that. of the guys who worked on it did get arrested for charges, but he wasn't the fucking main guy. <laughs> He didn't affect the Kickstarter at all, apart from bad press. He well, was, yeah, his bad he press was just, affected the Kickstarter. He was just like a, a texture builder or something. He wasn't anyone important. Yeah, that's what they all say. So, what's the textures? Look at all these textures. Look at him, he's flexing for us. Proceed with caution, and then it just rolls us straight ah, into the fight. Ah, Leroy Jenkins! I think we actually we might end up actually fighting Black Manta. Looking at these enemies, they look a bit fishy. Yeah, he did just say those are Black Manta's men. That might have been a bit of a clue. Ah, uh, they didn't say that. Yeah, they did. It was also in the subtitles. No, no, Mr. Superman, no subtitles. What? No, no subtitles. Mr. Subtitles. Do you think Superman has a cleaner for the Fortress of Solitude? Yeah, we've seen it in Family Guy. And Family Guy is in continuity. For is that why I thought of that when you said that joke? <laughs> now, now I'm just unconsciously stealing jokes. Yeah, exactly, yeah. There's that bit where someone, I think it's like Jehovah's Witnesses or something, someone knocks on the door to the fortress and she's like, no, Mr. Superman, no, no. no. <laughs> that explains it then. Like the idea now I, I thought I was funny. Yeah, if I hadn't said that, you'd have been like, I've got a great idea. Oh, well, someone knocked this up for me. <laughs> and then somebody, just, somebody would have sent that clip to you and you would have been like, this person's awesome. Let's, let's look at this professionally done video <laughs> they've made for me. And we would have all been like, yes, yes it is. <laughs> and then on our deathbed, and on all of our deathbeds, we'd have been like, why are we sharing a deathbed? What the fuck's happened? Time is harsh. Beds are rare. We would have been like, 
Will you stop running around in the fucking corner <laughs> so I can see what the fuck I'm doing? I'm trying to find stuff. You can find stuff where the cunts are dead! <laughs> Is that the way it works? I wonder what the next big DC game that's coming out is. Game? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I'm sure they'll do another Arkham one. Yeah, but I mean, well, there's obviously there's the DLC for Arkham that's coming out, but like, it's a, a game game. I can't think of any. Like, Superman ain't never got a game. Yeah, that's just all shit. Well, I mean, Man of Steel didn't get a game, did it? So no. Didn't really have a plot. His plot didn't lend itself yeah, well, to what, a game. What, what would that game be? Destroy the city. I'm sorry, you've not done enough damage to the city. Exactly. But and then uh, I was kind of surprised Arrow's never got a game, but you know, Smallville never got <coughs> a game. So that Smallville game would be a great game, though. <coughs> Move the battles of pain from one side of the barn to the other. Where the fuck are we going? It's over here, surely. I'm trying to jump on this car. I'm Why? St I'm stuck. Do you want to see if there's anything up here? There's something. <laughs> he failed. I do. Woohoo, we got a level up. Too exhilarated. Uh, yeah, it's there, but I don't know what we do. Press B. Yes. Yay. Ultimate puzzle. <laughs> And then I think there is that DC Moby game that's coming out as well. But that's for the PC. And again, there's Infinite Crisis. But you don't count that because it's a PC game. Well, no, I do count it, but it's just like I can't play it. So just I'm trying to think of the next big, like, actual platform, like, console game that's DC Universe. Well, to be fair, it's not. It. Was, the, the next Marvel one is that Spider Man spin off. Or Spider Amazing Spider Man 2 game. I'm sure they'll do a, like a, a, a game for Man of Steel 2, considering how many people they're putting in it nowadays. I doubt it, yeah. Well, it's like if you've got like fucking. They don't really do much cross platform stuff, do they? The last time they did a, a game for a DC movie was Batman Begins. Mm. And it was a pretty. It was an alright game, but it was literally just break into this place, beat up some standard criminals. Yeah. And they weren't even like proper. Character bosses and shit. Yeah, because it was quite. It was the closest you could ever get to an actual Batman film in game form. It was kind of pro oh, Arkham's yeah, Asylum, really, wasn't it? Because a lot of the stuff was kind of had to be stealthy. And you couldn't really. Yeah, you could get easily killed and shot. I do need to get around to giving that a play. Another game with a play I don't. I don't think it's very long. I didn't buy it. Yeah, I don't have it anymore. Yeah, it's not. You say that like it'd be expensive. Mm. I pushed that one over there. Oh. Get on with it. Yeah, you're a failure. You've got to push it the other way. It's twisty, it's turny. It's Bernie Mackey. Other way. I knew that. I was just testing you. Yeah, of course. The ultimate test. Many men fail the wrong direction test. <laughs> Many men have failed the chest test. I wonder if, if we fight Bane, I wonder if his fight in this is going to be as epic as it normally is in the Arkham games. Be flicking <laughs> old down and it. pulling out all the stuff, yeah. He's a big fella, isn't he? Who? Oh, oh, this guy. You can see that guy. Oh, well, I thought you were talking about. Yeah, he's been eating his fried bins. Fuck you, I tell. <laughs> Since we're just fried beans, many tools. <laughs> Magic. Magic fried beans. What fried beans, mate, do is make you fart. <laughs> fart yourself to being seven foot tall. 
So you're just hovering. <laughs> just yeah, exactly. Off the you're, just, you're permanently hovering above the ground, and everybody, and then you wear big shoes. <laughs> Run a big show. When are they going to make a game of Ender's Game? But it's practically waiting for the title. Only I'll only play it if I can play as the adults and just manipulate children into mass genocide. I only play it if I can play as one of the buggers. <laughs> uh, secret. Secret. More diaphragms. More diaphragms. I don't, I don't want to see a black mantis diaphragm because it's all fishy. <laughs> oh! They move with such finesse and impact. Yeah, and they, and they attack with such speed. Easy enough. So blurry. We've got to do some kind of uncharted esque puzzle solving here. Oh, we're going to run into Nathan Drake in a minute. <coughs> These robots look more like spider killer robots than. More they? from Spider Man. Yeah. Spider Slayers. Spider Slayers, yeah. The Tri Spider Slayer. Well, they look they're very close to the. The hottest toy of 1996. <laughs> you're still wanting you're, That's what you want for your Christmas, yeah? <laughs> no. I need something to add for You want the G.I. Joe. That's, that's my claim to fame. <laughs> uh, these columns, true. Yeah, you got to push them. Yeah, you got to push them in the right order. That was difficult. We don't have to push them in the right direction, though. Yeah, we do, because it doesn't let you push them in the wrong direction. Well, that's okay, then. Where it doesn't let you, because we're fighting at the minute. I think we got it. Collectively, we have a, the combined intelligence of... 40-something year old. What? Oh, we didn't yeah, do we did right and that's why things appeared. But I have an IQ of 120. Fuck off. I did a test and I got I got a result of 120. Yeah, internet tests don't count, you've got to do an official one. It was an official one. When was this? It was yesterday on the bus home while I was on Fuck the off! <laughs> <laughs> So like, how do we know it's wrong or right? Is there a test? God knows. Is there something... There we go. On the... Oh, we did it. And we just... When in doubt, we just jimmy did it. We Jeffrey did it. So that's what we do. This no game... Jeffrey. This game is Kubrickianly long. Um... It doesn't even mean anything. You can't just start putting Kubrick in things and make it mean something. Yeah, I know. Um, top one, I guess. No. God, I want to swap him out so badly. He's so shit. Who? What Aquaman? Aqualad, he's so crap. Oh, he's the leader. Oh, his powers. He's the leader. Would you want to be in Aqualad's game? No. Do you want to be in Gary Glitter's game? No. You have passed <laughs> the <laughs> test. Not many men failed the <laughs> test. <laughs> but uh, statistically, clearly the people who were in his band failed the test. I might just stop playing as her. She might be a bit better. Probably. Couldn't be any worse. And I can heal myself. Physician heal thyself. This will be funny, it's just a bit. So, what's going to happen at the end of this level that's going to cause us to have to run away from stuff? Uh, it's going to be like a it's going to be a big stampede of uh, rapey trailers. We're going to have to get away from the Congo. Umbongo, Umbongo. Stop. There'll not be an Umbongo flood. <laughs> the Umbongo factory will break. And uh, 
all the Umbongo will come shooting out. Umbongo the... tastes like shit. No, well, I'm not, no one's trying to force you to drink it. Yeah. <laughs> well, when saying, was the last one, the time you drunk on Bongo? It was years ago. I drank it when I was a kid and it was vile. And you still remember what it tastes like? I still remember like. thinking it was horrible. Stop eating my sesame cake. <laughs> I love that. That is my favourite quote from Bongo. Tim Curry eating fucking sesame cake. Why do you say it like Arnold Schwarzenegger? Because I can't do voices. And that's what the guy that does it sounds like. What, your African accent and your fucking Austrian, Austrian accent, accent, accent are the same, same thing? Yeah. You're never going to see me getting my own impersonation show on BBC One. Amy, hungry. <laughs> oh, so, 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 so. Amy, tired. It's a terrible movie and it's a pretty math book as well. I dare you, sir. It's Bruce Campbell's best starring role. Yeah, exactly. Blinking, you miss him. I wonder how many days' worth of work he got out of that movie. Five minutes. <laughs> One take. He turns up and he's like, how many scenes am I going to be in? And they're like, well, you're dead, Bruce. And he's like, right, <laughs> how many scenes am I going to be in? <laughs> Can my corpse be found? <laughs> yeah, but it's all kind of mangled and not really recognised anymore. <laughs> Can I just always be in the background just as a ghost? It's not that type of movie, Bruce. But I'm the star of Evil Dead. Yeah, exactly. You should be happy that we're letting you be in this movie. We're not putting ghosts in our movie. That would just be silly. We've got a talking ape and evil were-ape type things. But yeah, somehow that are mutated from eating human brains or something. We've got a sesame cake. You could play that if you want. But you can't eat a sesame cake. You can't let Tim, he gets there annoyed. If you can't let Tim Curry eat the sesame cake. That's what I bet that's what Michael Gambon said to you Tim when you were only allowed to eat well, when I stole the last bit of Bamberg from Michael Gambon. Michael he was Gambon. like Stop <laughs> eating my He never caught my, me. He, he wasn't know, looking. He he knew. He was distracted and then I came in, put my arm around, and when he looked back, he went to reach for the bit of Battenberg, it wasn't there anymore. I'd taken it and swallowed it whole yeah. giggling as I walked away. And he's never been able to... He's still looking for that Battenberg to this day. And he's never given a good performance since because all he can think is, where did that Battenberg go? <laughs> there was Battenberg there. And then I looked away and then Battenberg was gone. I don't understand how physics works anymore. <laughs> and everybody else was just like, no, we didn't have any Battenberg, Michael. We don't even know what the Battenberg is. Battenberg died 20 years ago. Mm, so many puzzles. so possible indeed it's fiendish fiendish like Sunday morning fiendish Bamba <laughs> are you helping to get sponsored by Bamba <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think Bamba doesn't even feel the need to put an advert on let alone that's how pop that's how um, that should be the tagline for Battenberg Battenberg it tastes better when stolen from legendary English actors I thought you were going to say that the tagline should be Battenberg we don't even need this advert <laughs> we don't even want this advert <laughs> Why can't I push this thing? Is it just because he's talking? No, I think it might be. Could be a pulley. I don't know. Uh, probably, yeah. We have to kill all the enemies before we can advance. Kill all the robots! Kill all the robots! Why does it say complete download? Like we keep saying, like no, we're just punching stuff. That's not what. What did what say now? Where well, it said complete download transmission or something. But it's just like yeah, it keeps telling us to do that. And it's just like but we're punching stuff. That's not how you download stuff. Oh, isn't it? <laughs> That's how I've always downloaded stuff. Push it the wrong way. How's that going to help us? Well, it might take us to a secret area. It has. It's taken us in the wrong way. We're no. We don't know it's the wrong way. Yeah, we don't actually. Fuck it. Well, I can't move over there, so probably it's the wrong way. No, you can't move over there because there's nothing to move to. What happens if you push it? Nothing. It's broken. It's all broken. Yeah, I guess we can't go that way. Then why build this? Just to fuck with us? Yeah. 
Great. They have twisted us and turned us. Get over here. Get over here! Push in, this is what we get for mocking the puzzle. <laughs> Maybe we do have to go this way. Let's uh, fucking do now. <laughs> oh, I've got to get over there, I guess. Oh, yeah. Fuck. What? Nothing's happening. Oh, that's moved over there. What? Over here. I that's know, I know. I'm just confused as to why... It's fucking... Because they're trying to confuse us, and they succeeded. They're doing a successful job, then. And then this one will turn that one. Yeah, that's... That seems a uh, time... Worth, that's, a, that's successful time management. Someone need a nap? I need all the naps. <laughs> they don't call you nappy. No, they don't. But they will do after this. I'm better not to do. <laughs> notorious grub in the neck. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why are we pushing against each other? Because we just can't admit our feelings of sexual healings. No, that is not accurate. There we go. We've never. Uh, this just seems like it's just. It's really just time wasting. We're just like, well, the level's not long enough. Got a stretch shirt. Yeah, exactly. We've got that like, stretch arms from it. What? For him to make a movie out of it for 20 years and then do it? No, you got. No, I wouldn't want to see that anyway. you got to tie it around your balls or something. <laughs> I can't remember. I, I vaguely remember something about stretch arms from it, someone's testicles. But Yeah, okay. <laughs> Really glad I didn't know you when we were young enough to be playing with Stretch Armstrong. I never had a Stretch Armstrong as a young. I think this was well, something. Fucking I, good thing from the sound. I think this was it. something I read on Reddit a couple of years ago. <laughs> but the details are hazy. I'm trying to figure that out now. What the fuck? How how would that even work? How would you tie a Stretch Armstrong around your balls? Well, well, I think it was something like you did something with your Stretch Armstrong to make it to heighten the masturbation. But I don't remember. I've never owned an Outstretch Armstrong and never felt the desire to. They could be like team Kegel exercises. Well, no, I think one it's woman just... can grasp one arm, another woman grasps the other, and then they back up and see how long they can hold it for. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know anymore what my what my memory has forsaken of me. I can't appear to get there again. The stealth power is useless. Well, I assume it makes it harder for you to see what you're doing than it does the enemy. Yeah, that's why I mean it's useless. It doesn't really, they don't use it then. I just I keep hit, I can't remember the which buttons correlate to which moves, so I keep hitting the wrong buttons. More pointless boxes to smash. More strange looking Brazilian men to be on. Racist. <laughs> Not racist. They are Brazilian. They got the booty. There's more than. There's not just Brazil and the Congo, there's a lot of other countries <laughs> in South America. You've not seen my map. No, I haven't, but I assume it's just something you've drawn on a napkin. It's just a circle, and half of it says Congo, and the other half says Brazil. Well, I don't even have Britain or America in there. It's just... It's just well, it's a map of South America. It's oh, no, yeah, well, yeah, that's my, con yeah, my Congo knowledge. To be fair, at least I didn't think that the Congo wasn't real for donkey <laughs> My girlfriend's did. He, he literally thought it was something that was made up for the Ombongo advert, didn't he? Yeah. Until we made him watch the film Congo, which didn't turn him around. Oh, yeah, he just made him admit it was made real. Just, yeah, it just made him not want to watch Congo or drink on Bunga. Mm. <laughs>